Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's, here we've got a Volkswagen Passat 1.4 TSI GT, finished in Urano grey non-metallic paint. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition, these are 18 inch Oxford alloys in anthracite. At the back, with it being the estate version of the Passat, you do get a nice large boot and those back seats will fold down if you need any extra space in there. The centre seat will also fold down independently to give you some through loading. This car has got MOT until the 29th of the 11th 2023 and will come with a full dealership history. We have the Alcantara and leather GT sports seats, very very comfortable, um, nice bolsters on the side and the base to keep you in place in the Alcantara, stops you sliding around. They are very nice quality um, and very comfortable as well. Um, although they look fairly sporty, they don't actually sort of hug you too much or anything like that, so they are more for comfort rather than a sporty driving feel. Up front we have a digital driver's display, uh, part of the GT pack. Um, so you've got your rev counter on the left, speedo on the right, and a digital screen in the centre. Um, currently showing a digital speedo, but you've got various different other driving data you can have on there. Um, you do also have your assist systems on here, so you've got adaptive cruise control, which I will just turn on. Um, so it'll keep you a safe distance from the car in front, stuff like that. Uh, you've also got a speed limiter if you prefer to use that. Um, then we've got your nav also got view tab so you can change the views in the center of the dials for example if I change it to gear and speed um, classic so you can have whichever ones you fancy really uh, it's a nice bit of personalization on there You've got your audio whether that be radio or media bluetooth your vehicle status is there anything on there as you can see replace key battery um, will come on there so if you've got low fuel uh, if you've got a door open anything like that low tire pressure that will be on there um, and then back to the driving data on the main screen we've got a full touchscreen system, you've got shortcuts either side with two physical dials. Um, so you've got DAB, FM, AM radio, you've also got your media tab, you've got Bluetooth, uh, CD. The CD player is located just in the glove box just there. Um, you do have um, a SD card slot available. Um, if you want to put music on an SD card then you can do that on there as well. The other one is used for the sat nav. Also got App Connect, so you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. If you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through, then you can do that just via Bluetooth as well. Then we've got your telephone, vehicle settings, so you've got various different stuff on there, your um, driving data, uh, sport mode if you fancy, and your Think Blue, so that's how economically you're driving. Um, and then also on here on the settings section you do also have your service info um, so that will show you when your next service is due um, you will get a reminder close to the time whether that be due to the time constraint or the mileage uh, but if you want to keep an eye on that then you can just do that on there as well we've also got your sat nav um, which as I mentioned is uh, SD card based so it's in the glove box um, it's a nice easy sat nav system to use nice and clear you can change the points of interest change the view to whichever your preference is um, but if you are just going to connect uh, via USB to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, then you're probably just going to be using Google Maps or Apple Maps or Waze, whatever your preferred preference is. Um, you do also have live traffic updates on here, so if you're planning a journey, it is nice to have those on there, um, just so you can see what sort of situation you may get yourself into. You do also have park pilots, so you've got front and rear sensors with the selective display that will come on automatically when you put the car into reverse, um, or you can turn it off just by pressing the P button just there. Moving down, where you've got your climate control, so you've got a temperature for the driver and the passenger, and you do also have one for the rear, so you've got three zone climate control, um, and you've also got heated front seats as well, which at the minute I'm making full use of, because it is rather cold. Um, down here we've got uh, your USB, well one of the USB inputs, so if you are using CarPlay or Android, then you will need to connect through that. We have a DSG gearbox, so you've got standard drive mode and a sporty setup for the gearbox. In standard drive it is set up more for efficiency, whereas in sport mode it will hold the gears for a bit longer and optimise it for performance. Um, you do also have your engine start stop, and then you've got your drive mode select, so your eco, normal, sport and individual. 
Um, you can uh, change different things to suit your preference, which mine is on here, as you can see there. So you can change the steering. If you want heavier steering, then you can put the steering in sport mode. Um, if you want the light steering but the sharper throttle response, then you have normal steering and um, sport for the drive. Um, so yeah, there's lots of personalization you can do. Um, then we've got a push button start. We also got um, electronic parking brake and hill hold assist, 12 volt socket, little cubby hole for the key there, a couple of cup holders and a decent size centre console with USB input, aux input, uh, that is also lined with felt as well as is the glove box and all the door bins as well, um, so if you've got stuff in there they won't rattle around too much. Uh, moving on to the steering wheel, uh, it's nicely laid out, um, you've got piano black on the steering wheel itself rather than just leather or just any other plastic still got piano black in the center and surrounding the infotainment display as well uh, on the left hand side we've got your adaptive cruise control settings speed limiter and your volume controls and on the right hand cluster you've got your hands-free um, your cluster for the uh, digital drivers display um, so you can change through whatever you fancy and also your track skip on the back of the steering wheel you've got um, manual shifters if you prefer a manual style of driving also got rain sensor wipers automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well um, on the gt model you do also get a pan roof which does open and it's not one of those ones that teases you so it does actually open um, and you do have a blind for that as well which is just that one there You do also have ergo comfort for the driver, so you've got electric adjustment for the back of the seat and also lumbar support on there as well. At the back, same seats, so you've got Alcantara and the Vienna leather, um, with the exception of the centre seat which is just the Vienna leather. Um, you do also have a centre armrest with a couple of cup holders and through loading if you need it as well. Uh, you do also get isofix points on the outer rear seats and then your climate control there as well as storage pockets behind the front seats decent door bins again lined with felt there's a really usable car um, it's got sort of all the mod cons you need really very very comfortable to drive nice to drive and it will hold its own on the motorway and also around town so it's really a great all-rounder uh, and a great daily driver as well it will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.